Amen. Awesome. Bless you guys. Come on, church. Please be seated. Amen. Um, first of all, I, I usually don't even have the voice. I now lost the one I had. So it's, um, it's beautiful. Because one of the places you should try to cast away restraint when the moment is right is in the presence of the Lord. Right? Here there is pleasures evermore. There is fullness of joy. Please, I want you to tell your neighbor something that you're more than okay. There's greatness inside of you. Things will not only be all right. They will be awesome. Get ready for an amazing season. Okay, guys, um, we please clap to that. Clap to that. All right, so um, we, we're, we've been working on um, an album project, um, which we want to just give you guys a, a taste of the a taste of the union. I was going to say a taste of magic. I remember this is not magical. <laughs> All right, but it's uh, awesome. I, I mean, they've been in the studio working while people were locked down. As COVID just opened up, we entered, right? And um, it's it's always this is our third album. This is our third album. We're working on the fourth, which we want to release on the first of October, called One Nation. It's just a prophetic sound. We're releasing a prophetic sound into this into the air, um, so that at the end of the day, we understand the Prince of Persia, as Daniel revealed to us. It's more around the air. So many times, the weapons of our warfare are powered by the sound and the things we hear. So music is not as innocent as as neutral as you want it to be. You understand? Tell a few people who are battling lost in the house. All it takes is a song to take you back into Egypt. And you will say, Lord, where did I fall? So you have to protect and guard your hearing. Because in your, if you lose the hearing, if you don't capture it there, you lose the war. Right? At the end of the Bible says, take all thoughts captive. So what we see in that understanding is that thoughts are within our range to take captive. Because if you don't take them captive, they'll take you captive. Some of us are already captives to thoughts that don't serve us well. Disempowering thoughts that put you in less than who you are. Thoughts of unworthiness. Thoughts of not enoughness. Thoughts of lies, illusions, everything that has built into your belief system and disempower you. This week, give no thoughts the room to disempower you. Give no thought to the room, right? And those people that embody that thought, come to life knowing you're worthy of his love and worthy of his affection. Are we, are we on cue? So the first one we're playing is Omopewa, uh, right? Okay, let's, it's just about 30 seconds, one minute. We're going to do that quick roll. That moment when you're waiting for your track. Nest, 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 yes. Nest, you see. When the DJ is not on the same page, you are supposed to leave it where it's hanging people. Nest, you know how they do these things. Don't move so that you'll be. You be. Nest. No, I can. I can. I can. Are you on the floor? DJ Kyo, let's be. Let's. Let's. Cause where the ovation is highest. No, 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 no. Nobody, we have not reached. There is only one instructor. No, that one should carry on smaller. Was it 30 seconds? Who is, who is doing this thing? No, one minute, one minute, one minute. 
Yeah, one, one minute, one minute. One minute, deal, one minute. Deal, deal. One minute. Take us back. <laughs> no, uh, this um, walk on water. That was Victor's voice, by the way. So. Yeah. This is Diazo. Diazo is in Germany. So let's... One, one minute. What? No, I thought it was only me. Of it. <laughs> the one minute passed. Okay, well, we off it now. Next, next. See, if you're a DJ, Ofure, where's Ofure? Ofure, you know how we do these things. Just, you, you know, when, you, when you're a party, a DJ knows the one I'll get him to spray you money. Take you to Oba. So we're entering that place. Next. See me. This is yeah, I see me's voice. Jesus. Just before I, I have to call her name before you think it's me, but it's okay. See me is the one of it. Esther, please. Well, it's hard to differentiate voices on this. Okay, this is Esther. Now the same song we did. Okay, okay, yeah, please, please. Yeah. But the, the part that is kick is far. So <laughs> now we don't have to fast forward it. For me, this one is dedicated to you. Strong, 
Don't be afraid. Guys, this, now this is our last rap, right? Yeah. This I'm a rockhead, so this one catches me well. <laughs> This song might give you guys bonus. It's like a river flow in my heart. It's like a river flow in my heart. Can I help this song? Can I help it? In my mind, break every rolling way. In my life, it's like a river flow. Like a river flow. Even I was caught by this one. Yeah. Guys, but that's uh, a taste of all. The album is called All. Awesome, awesome stuff. <laughs> Clap, it was really, really beautiful work. Like, um, this is going to be your traffic, your, your traffic companion. It's very soon. We just keep anticipating. Pray for the release. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. Um, let's go, very quickly. Let's get into one of the important aspects of our sermon, our service today. Um, I'll introduce, introduce to you a good friend of mine, who is in every way an embodiment of the the kingdom message that we preach. Because we were more all raised with an understanding of the church that made us feel like this is all there is, and living nine to Monday to Friday is another life. Then Sunday is holy life. But some people have broken this and have taken the message into um, different sectors. Um, fortunately and unfortunately, it's how I'm going to weave it. Fortunately, he's here with us today. Unfortunately, because he's relocating for a while, um, himself and his family, they're going to another country, right? Um, but we just wanted to tie him in for a bit, hoping that this Sunday might sow a seed of a return. <laughs> Guys. But he's not going anywhere. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate my friend, Daniel Okunobo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The tribe. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, eh? Uh, Betty. Um, you know, when I sat down here, I said writing my message. Because, uh, <laughs> praise God. Um, Sorry my wife couldn't come. He wanted my wife and I, but uh, we had to be do, to do COVID test. And at the point, it was getting late. I said, just do my own. And then uh, I had to leave them. Um, good enough. She's on social media, so you can track her down on Dr. Mego. I think she's only Dr. Mego on social media. So M-E-G-O-R, Dr. Mego. She has been quiet for about nine months. You can imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's interesting when people look at you and say that that's Dr. Mego's husband. And I say I'm, I'm okay with that um, because <laughs> uh, um, my my line of work requires some level of discretion. So Scripture says that we are the salt of the earth, and one definition of being salt is that you must be sublime, and you must disappear in order for you to influence the space. Unfortunately. Traditional church has taught us to like pulpit, podium, platforms. And when you are too visible, you can be neutralized. But if you are a ghost to the system, then you can influence the system and cause lasting change. Praise the Lord. So um, I, I'm going to share what, I, what I've called the believer's agenda. Um, oof. And just to give you perspective, lest you think that this is one super spiritual brother, once, once upon a time I was that. But I've gone from, I've seen the entire spectrum, I've experienced the entire spectrum from holy sanctified brother to all kinds of compromises you can imagine. And my head don't correct, I'm, you know. <laughs> so I can tell you anything. You can't come and tell me, hey, hey you don't, I, look, just calm down. In the Lord is righteousness and strength. You can't deceive me. I was telling someone just yesterday, I was discussing, I said, you know, that time when we Chris, Chris Small from Prodigal. 
Why my friends will be just now say, come, you know, when this they talk to the cause God, say, you know, see me and you not join. Because we don't see something. I mean, literally, we've seen the dead raised. I'm not telling you a story. We've seen, the, I mean, if they we prayed for someone that walked, we not play with the play. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost like a joke. I just said, eh, eh, this guy's paralyzed now, believers. Yeah. So, what should we do? Said, let's pray for him. Eh, okay, let's pray. We held down. So, uh, name of Jesus, I'm walking. The guy, ah. I a joke before. <laughs> And so literally we've seen we've seen the hand of God. So it's so we can't play with this thing, right? Over the years, because we've become so how would I put it? Church is now industry. So and when when we were when I was on I mean, I said I, I started working with God since I was a teenager, right? And for us it was just you want to just know God and we walked with God and all that. Ministry wasn't a thing. You, you get the point. Then you got into campus. They say because you like to read Bible, they can't make you leader. Then they can't make you pastor. That was not the plan. I mean, come on. I was just trying to know God. As you don't understand what I'm trying to say. The plan wasn't to be pastor. So this pastor thing people talk about, you know, I don't understand that. Bros, honestly, we are brethren. And I didn't know how to, we didn't need to preach. We are witnesses. Who gist. So... I mean, I, I mean, my, 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 my classmates are saying, you're a stranger. I mean, I'll come stroll with you. With just, I can flow from and Bible gist and to just, to just, you know, I couldn't help it. Now, say the quality of music, you guys just, hi. The world has, you know, the, hi. They've not seen anything. See, and I'm telling, see, look, look. When, when the kind of thing that God has placed in the believer, you see the madness in the world. It's not just Nigeria. Forget it. Eh? The madness in the world. i give a quick story. Before I come into what I want to say. When my time is up, you know I can do this for four hours. So when my time is up, you just tell me to just cheer him. Um, so I forgot what I wanted to say. No, madness in the world. Ha! The Jews don't leave my head. <laughs> Chai! Okay, maybe the Lord didn't want us to say that one. Anyway, but the point is that if you see the, the, the madness. Oh, ha! Yes, I remember now. We'll get to answers and all those conversations. I hope I have enough time. But let me tell you something. You see, if you read uh, Second Kings, I can't remember which, where it was, but the story went. Samaria was surrounded by a king and there was, there was, they were under siege. So it was almost like a Boko Haram situation, right? And it was so bad that two women had to negotiate eating their children. And um, the king heard about it. Now, this is Buhari now. Buhari did not blame his military for not being able to hold Boko Haram at bay. Nor the weakness of his, of his economic policies for why there was economic meltdown in an inflation in the place. He said, God help me if I catch that prophet today. She now say una no God. Una say una sabi pray. Una say sabi open heaven, make things happen. If you if if you don't solve our problem, we'll kill you. Yes. Then when the when the prophet now heard he did not blame Buhari. What did he begin to do? He started speaking words. One thing God told me um, some years back on my 40th, he said to me, he said, pay attention to words and spirit. I create by the spirit and the agency through which I communicate my spirit is words. You see, it's not Buhari that has destroyed Nigeria. It's you and I. We have spoken words. We've filled, we've filled the space with our words. And that has caused a spiritual influence over our land. It is the interpretation of what you see. How do you understand what's going on? The sons of Issachar had understanding of times and seasons and what Israel ought to do. 
So you talk about the prince of Persia, prince of Greece. Whenever there is a change in power, there is a, there's a spiritual exchange. On the land, there will be chaos. If you don't understand the times and start speaking a right to organize yourself, you'll be lost out in the scheme of things. You see all the answers, all the madness, all the Boko Haram, the banditry, the all that, is that there is a, an exchange going on. Question is, that exchange doesn't care whether you're a believer or not a believer. The man who has a spirit of ownership is the one that will collect it for another generation. If you see, if you see an IBB, listen to him. He speaks with the spirit of ownership. I own this land. If you talk to, if, if you talk to Obasanjo, he doesn't believe you can kidnap him. But you and I want to check out. So I'm not joining Shah because my own, I got a job. They gave me work. <laughs> and the work was somewhere. So I said, okay, they have to, they have, they are going to go and do the work. So, and I mean, F Freddy knows me now. The earth is Lord and the fullness thereof. I'm not, one, I'm not Andrew. I'm not one of those I want to check out. I believe that wherever I stand, I possess it. And until, until 6th of May, uh, my leg is strong for this place. I'm serious. But now, having said that, I will go to what I call the believer's agenda. So it comes in that three, three, uh, three steps, right? Ultimately, the idea is we've been made in God's image and God like, in God's likeness. And the idea is for us to manifest his life, his glory, his splendor upon the earth in his name and in his person. Because every one of us is a dimension of God that has never been seen before. If you don't maximize in yourself and reveal that person, that version of God will be lost for all time. I can't remember what I just said, so I'm not sure I can rewind. <laughs> but anyways, what I'm saying is that you are a unique expression of God. If you don't maximize this version in him and reveal him in time, it will be lost for all time. Right? So, first of all, how do you become God? God told Abraham, he said, walk ye before me and be thou perfect. See, see God placed a fail safe. He knows that your head no correct. He said, the process of correcting your head is that don't try to be perfect, then walk before me. He said, no, the process of perfection is to walk before me. If you walk before me, I perfect you. You see, what happens to believers when, you, when their legs begin to do like this? They stop beholding. They stop spending time with him. So they stop becoming. So the first agenda is for us to behold in the spirit. That's your first assignment. Don't try to do anything. Don't try to be good. All you have to do is to do what? Behold. If you see, God gave a parallel in two scriptures. Uh, I'm not sure about the scripture now. But the first one was in Luke where he talked about um, just like the serpent was lifted. He that if you look upon me, you know, you shall be saved. Then go look at the story where the serpent was lifted. Right? He said those that looked were saved. So I see it exchanged the word belief and look. To mean the same thing. So the process of believing is just to behold. Is to spend time gazing at him. And how do you do that? Is that you spend in the place of prayer. You are really trying to receive heaven. Spirit birthed words into, your, into yourself. It's words. Right? When you spend time in study of the word. You're reading the Bible. What's happening? The word, of, the word is lifted, coming to you. Listen. The rema of God is between the lines. Right? It's the, le the letter is there. But as you are reading, the thing that is happening to you, not only you get them. You get the point. So it's that, and what is that, those, that, that what you are receiving is, is, is unique to your situation, to your life, and to your own experience. Am I communicating? And so that spirit, it's, it's organizing your life. In your own, in, 
it's unique to you. Unique to your own experience. Are we together? So you spend time in the place of, of, of prayer, in the place of study, in the place of fellowship. Why? To receive the spirit of God through the agency of his word. And so what does he say? The words that I speak unto you is a spiritual substance that imparts life. Right? So you receive divine life when you behold in the spirit. Now this life is important because the Bible says out of your what? Belly. You see, we, we, we plant rigs in oil, you know, your side. But we don't spend time putting rigs here. What will transform the world is here. You need to draw out of the wells of salvation. You need to bring out divine person. That song, those mu that music, where did it come from? It came from somewhere. Buildings, it came from somewhere. Riches in dark places, internet, all these things. Somebody do does bim, 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 money has moved. It came from a dark place. The dark place is the secrets. Am I communicating? So you have to now go on. And for every sector, there are, there are those things. So you receive that divine life. And as you pull it out, and it bathes you, and it bathes you, and it bathes you, your mind is enlightened. You now go to the next stage. You become in your soul a sense of self-consciousness, self-image begins to emerge. I know who I am. Those that say don't really know. Because, you see, when they do, when no, they know. We just have a sense of, I'm the bread of life. He that comes to me. For example, in my space now, I know, I know where I be for my space. I've gone through the floggings. I've gone through the dealings. There are things I know. For instance, when NSAS was happening, people were shouting. So people were angry with me, including my wife. Say, you show leadership. I said, hey, these children, they're going to curse me if I come out. <laughs> they, don't know, they don't know senior. <laughs> if you come out, you just insult you. I say, I ain't going nowhere. I'm not going. I say, but you understand this thing? I say, mm -mm. Because sometimes you are too offended to spend time to learn patiently. See, <laughs> chokuna. Chalk. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, let me tell you, this space does not respond to the most capable. It responds to the most available, even if it's a knucklehead. But sometimes believers think, you know, you know we speak English. <laughs> you, I'll, I'll leave, you walk away. Then one crazy guy, hangs around. I call it, two things I write. Um, I call it Mojo LL. Moses Joshua. Look at the model. Every time you saw Moses, Joshua wasn't far away. So the, the succession was, it, it, wa it, it was natural. Now in the situation where the principal no send you. And he's always pushing you away. You shift to LL. Who is that? I'm sure one sharp person will get that code now. <laughs> Elijah, Elijah. By observation. Because Elijah kept chasing him away. He said, but let me tell you a secret. If you see the process of my lifting, it's yours. But you didn't have a generation of young people when be ITK. Sorry, the ITK is not a recent... Now it's old, old school. I too know. <laughs> no, I don't care. You know, you know, this evil, all these old people. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, God, cool down. Observe. Observe. You don't have to agree with the spirit. Or the, but if you watch, you will understand something. Do you get the point? How did I get there? Okay. I said, first, the blues agenda, you receive the life, you receive the spirit life by what? Beholding then you what? Then you become. So you behold in the spirit, you become in yourself. And how, how does that manifest? Three things. One, there's a sense of contentment. Right? 
we are not, we're not, you know, we're not competing with each other. I'm okay. Oh God, you hammer, God bless you. But I'm on a different path. Because the Bible says, bless the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of the sinner, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. There he meditates where? Day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the streams of water that what? Bears his own fruit when in his own season. Popo and guava have two different seasons. So one is in his season. Let him praise God for his life. Let's be honest with ourselves. Sometimes you see your friend prospering. There is envy. There is jealousy. And there is the spirit of Cain. You know what the spirit of Cain is? The spirit of Cain is when you see your brother accepted and you not. And it moves you to want to kill him. You must. And how do you overcome the spirit of Cain in you? Because not many times you think that the other person is a, is a Cain. I mean, I'm not even a lie. Sometimes we are the ones who are Cain. And in our words, we're trying to shift against our brother because they are doing well. What you do is you have, you know, a Me Too praise session. God, I thank you for his life. You begin to thank God and bless that person and go into thanksgiving and into praise and all, all that. When you thank, when you're thankful for what God is doing in the life of other people, the grace trickles down to you as well. Because you get insights. So you behold in your soul. So the first thing is that you're content with who you are, where you are, and what you have. And it has nothing about vision. Vision is a different thing. But at least you are content in your current stage. Are we together? Yes. Secondly, there you are centered. When you've come to a place where you've be beheld and you are becoming, there is a centeredness that comes. And you are centered because now you, you are okay with your relationship with him. You're full. You are centered in your relationship with yourself. And you are centered with others. Are we together? You know when things want to, uh, I like the way one of my friends put it, discombobulate you. They want to just rattle you. But when you spend time and you've received, there is a, a calm that comes. In the midst of the storm, calm comes. So, the second thing is you are centered. And then the third is that you are present. Now, you are present in time, space, and in person. Now, I, I explain what, what, what this is. You know, sometimes you go into a meeting like this. This is a networking meeting. And you meet someone. And then you start discussing. Then somebody else of interest comes. Then you... You know what happens? This person realizes that you've shifted. Right? You are no longer present. Right? So being able to be present when with people. I'm talking to this person. So I'm present here. I thank God for yesterday. Thank God for tomorrow. But today has sufficient issues. I'm present today. Then right now... I am present in location. I'm in Nigeria. I'm not planning to go abroad. You get the point? When the abroad comes, we will now face it. Someone's looking at me as if, uh, bros, <laughs> you're on your own. No. See, let me explain to you the way to go to the abroad. You see, don't go like a servant. You now reach there, be running from police. Because I must go to the abroad. When my wife went to the US, it was presidential invitation. When me, they go where they go, even now. Nah, that level invitation. So, my people, let me explain to you. There is a way <laughs> to go to the abroad. <laughs> Am I communicating? Huh? And one way is to be present. And what is it? You see, you leverage where God has placed you now. Where God has planned. It's leverage. Under if you don't understand it, you will lose it. Because you are in the perfect place. I don't know where that place is. But you are in the perfect place. 
understand when, when the prophet came to the woman, he said, look, what do you have in your house? The first thing she said was nothing. She not thought, ah, um, um, well, just a cruise of oil. That was the source of her lifting. What was, eh, Abby? And, I, and God has given us, he told him, Moses, what do you have in your hand? He said, a rod. I mean, an ordinary rod. A shepherd's rod. A stick. So what happens that when you now come to the place of awareness, I know who I am, I know where I'm coming from, and look at the life of Jesus. The Bible's about Jesus. That Jesus, knowing who he was, where he was coming from, and where he was going to, he was able to serve. You see, the spirit of service is only really possible for one who is self-secure, assured, and have a sense of self-worth. Are we together? Yeah. Because he, he was okay, then he could serve. Right? So when you come to that place, you're now okay. What then happens? You come to the third level where you birth in your space. Are we together? Where you birth in your space. And your space may be music, politics, tech. It may be social sector. It may be education. Right? But what happens is that you take the spirit life that you have domiciled within your person and then you deliver within your space. And in that space, the world would then see the life and essence of God, the beauties of God. What has happened in this generation? Because it is up to every generation to rediscover and re reveal God every time. The days of Agwicha with Daosa are over, the days of the Father are over. All right? But it involves this generation. To spend time to rediscover and re-reveal. The madness around is not because, see, that when there's gross darkness, he says what? Your light shall shine. But where do you find it? You go into his presence in order, in order to, to get that done. And I'll say, I'll, I'll say this, that, like I said, the process of perfection is by walking before him. And I've already stated already um, you need to be careful that you don't build a doctrine around your dysfunction. Right? There's a lot of madness going on. And I'm speaking from experience because if you believe a life, then your life moves in that, in that direction. Uh, and I, again, I mean, I sat down and thought to myself, okay, what, ha what happened to you? I said, I believe a lie. Want a lie. Ha! Chai. This is your church. They won't be for trouble. Okay, I'll define a few things for you. Grace. Grace is the power of God, right? To bring about a life, for, to, for God to manifest himself in you, through you, and on your behalf, right? God may meet you a certain way. He doesn't plan to leave you that way. Right? Um, this thing about it doesn't matter what you do is a lie. It matters. It does. And I'll tell you this case in point. Two people, um, Buddha, Buddhist, Ekanka, Call any other religion that has serious discipline. Grail message, or whatever it is, right? Even in any Eastern religion, whatever it is, and you bring a believer, all will manifest a disciplined life. True or false? Stable family, stable this, the man doesn't sleep around, he's faithful to his wife, he's whatever, 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 whatever. The truth about the gospel is that that was never in question. What was in question was what spirit is giving birth to this? 
the person decreases, 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 decreases. You say, well, he's just a, and he's just a believer. Where he's a, he's a, he's a, what, what word do we use? Say he's a, he's a babe in Christ. You see, if you receive the life of Christ, you can't, your leg cannot work, work anyhow. Am I, make, am I communicating? Now, even if those of us who might have gone ahead may be more disciplined, and this person is still, is still struggling and stumbling, check his friends, check his family. They're the true source of his testimony. I didn't forget the point I'm trying to make. In your eyes, he may still, if his head may still be like this, but you can see that the process, his friends know that he used to do like, Six packs in in a, in an hour, right? But now he does that one a, a year or one a month. To you, you are saying, ah, this person had no correct. He smokes. But to his people, to his own, where he's coming from, they say he's now born again. He's their pastor. Check him 15 years from now. He's perfect. I mean, in that sense. C.S. Lewis was the person who described this thing very well. He talked about a city and a mountain. He said, there, there's a city. One, this, this is, the city is here. Take this pulpit as the mountain and the city is here. Now, one person is standing here. In order for you to enter this city, you have to go around the mountain and come into the city. Right? So he said, by nearness... They, are, they have pro, close proximity. So he seems like he's close to the, to the mountain, to the promised land. But by approach, he's what? Far from. So this is the person who looks like a Christian, but he's not a Christian. Then there is somebody else who is on this end of the mountain. If you look at them, I look at the, 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 this nation and this person, they don't look alike. You get the point? So by nearness, they are far. But by approach, he's close. He's closer. Now, guess what? By the time he comes to this place and he's here, right? And this other man is here. They will both look alike. But only one has entered. So Christ talked about the wheat and the tars. He said, you can't tell the difference. That means external manifestation. There's a way you will know a Christian now. By their fruits, Right? So, um, talk about the lie. The lie is what I do, whether private, whether in secret or public, matters. Okay? I thought it didn't matter sometimes, and I pff, did crazy things. I'm like, we have to learn to go back and repent where you stumble. If you stumble, go before the Lord, repent. What does it mean to repent? It means to say, Lord, take away this... I can't get comfortable. I can't build a doctrine around my dysfunction. You get the point. If I decrease, make I just not leave me decrease. You see, that doctrine, just leave it alone. I crease by myself. But I will not change what the Lord has said to align with my way of life. Okay? That at best, God day or lay me, I did my lane. You understand? But what is best for us is that we align our lives with the word, his way, and his will. Praise the Lord. Um, I know my time is up. Like I told you, I can do for, I can do for hours. Um, praise the Lord. I'm really happy to be here. And um, uh, I wish you all the best. And I'll tell you that you and I are the hope not only for our land, but the hope for our generation. God bless you. Thank you.